Hi, this is your host, Sapnil Bhartia, and welcome to our yearly predictions video series. Today we have with us Rob Schmidt, partner at Carrick. Rob, it's great to have you on the show. Great to be here. Of course, I'm going to ask you to pick your crystal ball and share your predictions. But before that, just quickly remind our viewers, what is Carrick all about? Carrick is all about providing uh, excellent service, technical ability in cloud, uh, application transformation, digital transformation, um, helping companies accelerate their transformation journeys and deliver more value for their customers. And now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and share with us what predictions you have for 2024. The first prediction I have for 2024 is um, we're going to start to see in the LLM space, uh, companies really starting to branch out and think about um, the types of LLMs they're using where they're running them, how they're running them. Um, what we saw a lot of in 2023 was a lot of open AI consumption, a lot of people in kicking the tires on open AI. I think people are gonna start to spread out. They're gonna start to try lots and lots of uh, smaller models, whether that's you know Falcon or Llama uh, 2, things like that. They're gonna start to really, so that sort of, uh, those skill sets are going to be really important for enterprises to help build out. Uh, you're going to need to, to really start to rethink um, how the teams that are using these things are considered, how they're running them, how they're instrumented. All of that stuff is going to become uh, a very top of mind thing for a lot of a lot of uh, enterprises as they're starting to get more value out of LLMs in their enterprise journey. So that's that's one thing that we're, we're already starting to see that in our work at Carrick. Um, <clears throat> A second, a second area is I think we are going to see kind of the return of metadata management uh, into the enterprise vernacular, um, coupled along with all of the companies trying to and starting and exploring LLMs uh, and trying to figure out how to integrate them uh, into their enterprise workflows. Um, it, it becomes very apparent very quickly that if the data isn't there and it's not usable or it's not well categorized and understood from a metadata perspective, it becomes very, very difficult and unwieldy to just fire that stuff into an LLM and start asking questions about it, right? Um, so having an organized approach to maintaining the data that you're embedding in the LLM or the data that you're asking question of is going to become a very, very hot topic. So I think uh, a lot of the companies are going to have to start to explore how they're going back um, with their data libraries and, and, and managing them to... to uh, get greater efficiency. Um, <clears throat> the the third prediction, which I don't think is much of a prediction at all, it's more of a reality already, uh, is that coding assistants are going to become a daily part of life for most developers out there. We're already seeing uh, in our own work and with our own customers the, the speed at which um, we're able to improve and speed up delivery and what we're able to do now uh, with smaller teams and the effectiveness of those teams um, is really astounding. So most developers who are out there are going to have to start thinking about how this is going to integrate into their daily workflow, how they're going to use the technology, how they're going to figure out how to turn it into, you know, like a virtual paired programmer uh, running along with you. And <clears throat> I think it'll uh, there's lots of other ways that they're going to start to use it too, especially, you know, jumping into a, a, a code base that you're not familiar with. They're extraordinarily helpful at just figuring out where stuff is and how this works and how all the plumbing is is set up. So um, that's definitely uh, something that we're seeing. We're already helping enterprises adopt that technology and figure out how to integrate it into their development workflows too. So now what we're seeing in the projects that we're working on is actually taking, they're out of the tire kicking phase and they're into the, how can we use this to um, boost the productivity of our employees, right? How can we use this to automate things that have been kind of painful for us in the past? Um, and I, I, we kind of see two, two big modalities are really starting to take over. So one is the retrieval augmented generation is it's here to stay. Right. Uh, that is a technique that every enterprise needs to get familiar with uh, and needs to figure out how they're going to how they're going to use that, um, because that enables a lot of, I would say, very complicated uh, and and, you know, time consuming tasks to be automated, you know, particularly where you have people coming through reams and reams and reams of documentation or text or uh, files in order to come up with some kind of a decision about something, right? Uh, whether that's, 
you know, credit report or something like that. The, that being able to, to do that and do that at scale is, is a, a huge value add uh, for most people. Like if you can just accelerate the people going through that and help them find the stuff they're looking for faster, the productivity gains are astronomical. What kind of challenges you see will be there in 2024, not just for the users, customers, the ecosystem, but also for Caric to tackle? While the generative AI stuff in the LLMs is 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 uh, is is very important and and has a lot. I mean, everybody sees the potential in it. Um, the challenges that come along with it, obviously, like is is it when technology this kind of breakthrough or or disruptive comes about into the enterprise. There's a lot of other challenges that arrive with it, right? It's not just how do I plug this thing in and make it useful for my organization. There's cultural changes that have to be happen. There are oftentimes structural or business changes that need to happen as, as a part of that. So a big challenge for a lot of enterprises is going to be how do we package all of this stuff up together into one, you know, co cohesive transformation. Um, and that's where we're, where we come along, right? That's where Carrot can have a lot of a lot of help for our customers and we have a lot of great relationships with great customers where we're doing this kind of work now and helping them figure out um, how to integrate this stuff and and what the what the use cases that can be done safely are right and and how to do this in a way that um, can move the needle for them but um, thinking about it holistically so that we're packaging this up not just as as here's a technology solution right but Here's how it works. Here's how this is going to change your day to day. This is how that you're going to interact with it. Here are the guidelines. Here are all the, the whole package, right? In addition to, you know, obviously there's, there's financial considerations for all of this stuff as well. Um, so making sure that we, we present, you know, the whole vision of what it can be and how they're going to get there and um, what the changes are going to be like based on our experiences. Looking at these challenges, which also kind of translate into opportunity, what is going to be the focus for Carrick in 2024? Our focuses are, are, are definitely uh, an ever-evolving thing year over year. Um, you know, the, we, we really started as um, agile and cloud transformation specialists, um, people who could come in and help an organization modernize their infrastructure, right? Whether that's adopting Kubernetes or things, you know, Moving to serverless, there's lots of different ways that we've helped customers do that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> so that kind of base now allows us to move more effectively into this new LLM generative AI world uh, and help companies adopt that in a, in a, in a thoughtful and meaningful way uh, for them. So that's going to be a big focus for us um, in 2024. We've we you know we have some some techniques and we have some packages and programs that we've built out. Uh, that can really help accelerate the journey, both from an exploration perspective um, and an integration perspective, right? So we, we've we've now done a lot of work on this in order and and with with customers already to deploy this stuff for real, right? In enterprise settings, at scale, you know, with significant volume. Um, and it's been nice to partner up with you know all of the, the LLM companies that are out there, Langchain and. Uh, you know, Google Cloud and OpenAI, and all the all the groups that we've we've had the experiences of working with. So it's been it's been it's been a lot of fun for us to put this stuff together and learn from it. And then, you know, in 2024, we get to pass those things on to uh, hopefully a lot more people. Rob, thank you so much for taking time out today and share your predictions with us. I would love to have you back on the show next year, not only to see how many of these three predictions turn out to be true, but also get the next set of predictions. But I really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you, Swamil. Well.